Well, I wanted to show you this. I may be pronouncing this name wrong, but Smyrna Baptist Church, I think that's how you say it. It says that the church was built, building in 1890 on Hilltop. Huh. I'll just let y'all read it. Something about a flood, ice. <laughs> it was moved. Huh. Well. Rev 2. These are words of him who is the first and the last who died and came again I know your afflictions I know your poverty yet you are rich be faithful even to the point of death and I will give you life as your Victorious crown. Oh, interesting. Hey, people. Got to make it up that hill. Keep going. We're gonna make it. All right. <laughs> it's a big one. <laughs> okay. So, Revelations 2 gives us a little peek of the Christ that we are. That is interesting. And be faithful till death, to death. Well, I can't die. I've already died. I've been born again. This body can die. That's for damn sure. But the Christ of the I Am that is the resurrected power that lives on the inside is eternal life, is truth. It is who we are. And I say we proudly. <clears throat> we as in the body of Christ. When it's time for us to know who we are, death can't stop it. Nothing can stop it. We're given great wisdom when we still our mind and become quiet in our being. Not that I know anything. <laughs> Not that I have great wisdom. I just know some people that do. <laughs> Been around some Christ conscious beings. And I can tell you this. There's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to be in fear over. The God that we are has our back. Now, the God that's in this world that can be manipulated, transfigurated, and mad and pissed off, that's a God created in man's image and always has been. But when you want to know the truth, you turn your thoughts inward. and it will be given in the form and the modality that is befitting to you you will see and hear what you're meant to see and hear that will quicken you awaken you transform you into peace that's all there is either you're in peace or you're not either you're worrying or you're not either you're thinking with your right mind or your wrong mind and I'm here to tell you that when you think with this part of your head up here it can mislead you but when you drop it down into your heart your heart centered love of what God is through the resurrected power of the I am, 
you can come out of any situation. It's not that it's magically going to happen. It's just that your thoughts are going to become clear enough that you realize you're creating your hell. You're creating your fears. You're creating your turmoil, your poverty, even your poverty. You're creating it. We're not meant to be struggling for shekels. We're not meant to be slaves to a dollar that ain't worth the paper it's written on. All of that's a lie given to us by the ones that would want to keep us not knowing the simplicity of how we reach heaven on earth. It's with our thinking. It's a way to be every day, not just on Sunday. <laughs> this is a beautiful church, and I know these people love go to church on Sunday, and they, a lot of them now I notice at the First Baptist Church over in uh, Ozark, they meeting on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, <laughs> Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. They hadn't been able to have any church, and so they're just going like a bunch of days now. <laughs> The real church is within you. And the real words of God was put in your heart to be unsealed at this time. We are that seventh seal. And those seven seals, I'll just say it, they are about our chakras. And you go, oh, that's, there he goes. He's off on chakras. He's talking new age, Margaret. We can't listen to him no more. He's gone over the hill. Listen to me for just a minute. There's some really great people that understand Revelation to the point that they can tell you what the candlesticks are and can tell you what the chakras are in a spiritual, biblical term and sense of the word. It is your energized Christ body awakening and affects your ability to heal yourself with your own medicine that's with inside of you people <laughs> you don't make medicine inside of you if you're sick and we're not meant to be sick never have been meant to be sick we're able to heal ourselves from within our iglino glands I don't I can't say all the terminology for the how the glands are connected but I can tell you this your hypothalamus gland your pineal gland all of these work when you wake up all of these come together to give you the truth and the information that you're you are desiring to know when you're desiring to know it to help you understand this is a building. This is a building built with hands. It is called a church. Sure, it's good to go to church. They'd just throw me out if I did go because they'd watch some of my videos and they, they wouldn't want me there. They, I say that, but, you know, that's been the pattern over years. But um, what was I saying? Built with hands... This building, this what is the true temple of God, the dwelling place of the Most High, the part of us that has the ability to touch heaven and kiss earth at the same time, was not built with hands. It was built with love. So when we love ourselves, we can get on about the business of healing our church inside of our DNA, inside of our atoms, our cells, our very essence of the mitochondria is just waiting on you to talk to it. When it's time, you feel it, just speak life to your body like I'm speaking right now. Out loud, verbally, say, I love you, each atom, from the tips of my feet to the top crown of my head, I'm speaking to each and every atom, every, every cellular nuclear particle within this atom I'm speaking life love and peace and a stillness 
of being, of knowing who you are as an atom, as I know who I am as a physical form, inhabiting a physical body, being the light body being that I am in this moment, speaking to you, each atom. I speak perfect health. I speak perfect understanding of healing within this body temple. Each atom is doing as it is accorded to do and given proper notice to the body that I love you, each atom. Forgive me for being late about this. <laughs> Forgive me for not knowing at a younger age that I could do this and have peace and healness, wellness and the joy of God in my body, my mind, my spirit, my soul. Thank you, people. I've ran on too long. I got to get ready to get out of here. I've been missing my slap. I don't know if y'all notice that. Sometimes it cuts off a little quick. I'm going to try to do it right this time. All right, y'all hang on. Ready? Here we go. We're going to slap it to the next time.